Hey there, crypto bulls. In this video, we're going to be looking at the relationship between Bitcoin and altcoins, what I expect it to play out, how it is currently playing out. And of course, we're going to look at the correlation with the S&P 500 and we'll check in on some individual charts. Stay tuned. Before we get into it, thanks everybody for the likes, comments, shares, all that good stuff. It certainly helps the algos in Google. So checking in on first Bitcoin and the S&P 500 futures chart on the hourly time frame and the correlation between the two. And for me, it's been very notable recently, but just as notable as the correlation has been the fact that Bitcoin is definitely bullishly correlated. So in my mind, I just picture it as every step forward that the S&P 500 is taking Bitcoin is taking multiple steps forward. And on every step back, the Bitcoin bulls are allowing less of a pullback and they're keeping more control. So here it is on the hourly time frame again for me, just when I'm looking for this correlation. And right now it is the S&P 500 with the real candles and it is Bitcoin with these other candles here in the background. But these moves are very, very, very similar. And this is looking all the way back to the last week of trading. So for me, it is absolutely essential to be watching both. And we can see even just most recently last night, I zoom in here, I see this little pullback and then a bounce and it's happening all at the same time that the futures are doing it as well. So we look at the futures and the four hour time frame. higher low is trying to form here. Let me get rid of this. Nope. So we're looking for a four hour higher load forming here on futures, holding the EMA support and we check in on what Bitcoin is doing on the four hour time frame, and it's doing the same thing, but it's a bit stronger. We're not touching the EMA support. It's more of a bull flag shape at this point. So very similar, but not the same. And it, again, it very clearly favors the Bitcoin bulls at this point. So we'll see how long the S&P 500 bulls can keep this going. And of course, if we see new all time highs, which at this point is absolutely in the conversation, whether or not you know we need to consolidate on the daily time frame first, we'll see. But if we get new all time highs, that is obviously best case scenario and the most bullish environment that all assets can be in as it shows a ton of confidence. And that's only two, 3% from where we currently stand in the broader market. The dollar weakness continues and the bulls in assets are loving the fact that these bounces on the dollar are not resulting in daily trend changes. A big solid bounce straight to a lower low, an even bigger solid bounce straight to a lower low. And we'll be, we will be watching this megaphone here, which I have not drawn and it just stood out to me. So I love watching, or I should say making these videos because I very often see things as I go in a little bit more in depth that I would not otherwise be looking at. So this is a support line that's absolutely coming into play on the dollar. And if we were to see a notable bounce off this level, perhaps that indicates some more notable consolidation in our assets. But at this point, bulls are very confident Let's see if it's a, a falling wedge here. So I'm now going to be watching this on the dollar as we head into the weekend and we might have to wait until next week before we get any kind of resolution there. If the S&P 500 closes strong here to end the week and Bitcoin goes into the weekend with that kind of momentum, again, that is ideal scenario. And Bitcoin bulls. So let me talk a little bit about what I anticipated yesterday. I put out a little video on Twitter that was a minute and a half long and essentially saying that I anticipate we're going to see Bitcoin clear out the order book on the way up, big time bull move up and then a big dump down and then looking for a wide range, a 10% range that we're gonna trade within for days and days and that leading to the environment where the altcoin bulls and their Bitcoin pairings begin to take off. So we're seeing a very mini version of that where it was just the four hour time frame, cleared it out on the way up, we pulled back a decent range between that. We had a high of essentially 1600 and we pulled back to 1530, 15,300. So that's essentially, oh, a 4% pullback. Again, not significant enough for us to be confident. The move I was talking about, we can look at it and say, okay, Bitcoin has topped out on the daily time frame for now. It's time for sideways trading. We could say that on the four hour time frame with the consolidation last night. 
But again, very different scenario. So with that move, the altcoins are bouncing. This is the Bitcoin dominance chart. It's pulling back fairly significantly. No four hour higher low has been found just yet. We are gonna look for a four hour higher low. But now at this point that some of these Bitcoin pairings have seen a significant bounce, still in daily downtrends, aggressive bulls can start looking for entries. So the most aggressive bulls looking at altcoin Bitcoin pairings are already in and they were entering into weakness and probably, probably a, a lot of losses on the way down trying to find that bottom. The next most aggressive bulls are going to be looking to enter on four hour higher lows. And just using ETH BTC as an example, if we reject from here, we're gonna be watching for a, a four hour inverse head and shoulders where there's tons of space for the four hour higher low to form. And then we have to confirm that four hour trend change for this move to see follow through. The most patient bulls are gonna be waiting for this entire daily bounce to take place. However, you know they don't care if, if it goes significantly without them because they know they're just waiting for that daily higher low because the daily trend changing would be notable and they're waiting for that daily higher low. So that's really, you put yourself on that spectrum. Are you most aggressive? Are you middle aggressive? Are you conservative? And that helps you determine which time frame is most important to you. So for these altcoins, I'm still not convinced. We don't have daily trend changes. It's solid bounces, absolutely. But I believe that we will have to see Bitcoin convincingly top out on a daily time frame for these altcoin Bitcoin pairing bounces to see follow through. So right now, Bitcoin is in a 15 minute channel that just broke bullish. We were watching this consolidation channel overnight. Bunch of holds of this support, few rejections from this resistance. Just trying to get over that now. And again, it's keeping this four hour consolidation very healthy. And we can say very simply, if the low of this consolidation, 15,300 holds today, then a four hour bull flag is what we're looking at. We'd have to see bears break that level to try and negate the four hour bull flag. Daily time frame, a little bit of a doji right now, but a long ways to go. Yes, RSI levels are overextended, which can be the case for a very long time, as was the case in 2017. So again, I would not be making many decisions off of overextended RSI to the upside. Have to see a lot of other things with the price action and other indicators that you use, they have to align. Overbought RSI is not enough. So looking at the weekly time frame, where's our resistance from here? 16,000 psychological. We knew once we cleared 15,000 that there was very little after that. So straight up towards 16 psychological. And you can see the acceleration by the bulls in the area with a lack of resistance. And now we're looking up at 16,275 and then 17,178 and then the all time high. So just three little levels there and tons of space for a lot of consolidation on both the daily and weekly time frame for the bulls to remain in complete control. For me, I'm keeping my swing trade. And it's the kind of thing where yesterday I went to look and see what's my profit at on the trade at this point. And then I stopped myself because I knew that could only sway me from my game plan. And my game plan is to ideally hold for new all time highs. I'm very confident Bitcoin's gonna get all time highs. I'm just not sure when that's going to happen. So keeping steady and I definitely have cash for buying dips and Bitcoin had a great back burner trade yesterday and again if you don't know what a back burner trade is look it up on YouTube back burner chart guys but first five minute oversold conditions after that massive bull move and that took place down here so that 13 now uh, where was that that was yesterday yeah so yes no that wasn't yesterday where are we 15 minute so right here, this five minute, first five minute oversold conditions, we hit the, the top of 14,200. That's the highest price that we have seen on this move to this point. This five minute RSI got right to 30. And then from that point, that was the low that we just had a steady bull move off of and tons of continuation. And ever since then, all these five minute oversold bounces are being bought. Some of them are going a little bit more significant than others because again, it's no longer the back burner trade once you get the first five minute oversold conditions coming off the high. But as long as these bulls are continuing to buy five minute oversold conditions, you know there's still a lot of strength in this market where every dip is being bought up. So looking for short term trades for me with oversold bounces being in my wheelhouse, that is the trades that I'm looking for at this point. Shorter term oversold conditions, I sell half into a small bounce. I put my stop under the low at that point and then I try and let that bounce play out. And if I'm wrong and we drop to a lower low, it's very little risk because I sold that half on the initial bounce. That's the way that I've been trading stocks recently and certainly applying that to crypto as well. 
Bitcoin dominance chart, so four hour consolidation looking for that higher low. ETH, USD just making a significant break of 421.47. And again, a lack of resistance after that level breaks. And now we're looking back up at 489. Awesome volume on this breakout. And it's because of this ETH BTC, very significant bounce off the low that ETH saw that surge forward. So again, while Bitcoin has been consolidating the last 12 hours, essentially, it's allowing for ETH BTC to bounce over the last 12 hours. So again, watching for the potential of that four hour inverse head and shoulders. We'll see if we fail 2876 resistance here, but the middle aggressive bulls are watching for four hour higher lows for entries. Link USD. Solid bounce on the daily. I'm very curious to see how this previous support trend line, and we're actually getting back over it. So I was going to see if we were going to reject from that level, but nope, that's a convincing break for the bulls. Weekly time frame, we had a little support down at 978, and we double bottomed at that level. Where was that on the daily? So 9785, 976, and that's keeping a little weekly double low now of consolidation. And the best case for the bulls would be to surge back up towards 1297 and break that resistance level. Let's check in on every altcoin. You got to be watching what that BTC pairing is doing. So for link BTC, solid bounce. We are just looking for a daily lower high. We'll see if the bulls can shape up the daily trend change. We do have a four hour trend change that got the bulls over the EMA resistance. Now we zoom out. We watch the daily EMA and anything under 849 is just a lower high, but a solid bounce in the short term. Time frame of your trade matters a lot as well for the time frame that you care most about. You know, a shorter term day trader cares about that four hour trend change. A longer term swing trader says, great, the daily bounce has now started, but I still have a lot of proving that I need to see. Binance, trying to set a weekly high or low. So we know we have a weekly equilibrium here. High, low, lower high was 32.38. And the bulls are now looking for a higher low to try and form compared to 2210. We know we need a daily trend change to the bulls to have confidence that our weekly higher low has been set. So again, aggressive bulls are going to be watching for, I should say, patient bulls are going to be watching for a daily higher low to try and make an entry playing off of 2575 support. And then if we confirm that trend change, we're looking right back up at that high and the hope for weekly continuation keeping the weekly EMA 12 support. YFI USD has been in free fall and we had no support nearby. Obviously the bounce is taking place right now. What should stand out on this chart? Volume. Volume has marked the bottom multiple times, at least short-term bounces on climaxes. The last time was 12,200 and we went all the way up to 19,400. Yes, we gave it all back, but certainly plenty of opportunity to protect a bullish position. And here again, highest volume, little bullish reversal doji, and now we're getting that bounce follow through, 7,500 essentially up to 11,300. So these are very notable 40%, 45% moves. Again, we will need a daily trend change, but we got that four hour trend change. There's your volume, higher low, confirm it. And that was the first confirmed four hour trend change that the bulls have seen since the top at 15,500 essentially. So very nice follow through. Now the question is, can the bulls confirm it with a daily trend change to see significant follow through? LTC USD, also continuation over 6090, 6438 is the next resistance level. And I am watching this LTC BTC long-term daily falling wedge. And we could stay within this for another long period of time. There's a lot of long-term timeframe falling wedges on LTC BTC, whether you're looking at the weekly timeframe or the daily time or the monthly time frame. Trying to see where I put this anchor point previously. So this is the pattern that I'm watching on the daily time frame, and we can see a significant bounce, still stay within it, pull back, have to form a higher low. And this is what I'm going to be watching into the end of 2020, essentially. So bulls obviously want to see a break there. If we're going to see LTC have some notable catch up to Bitcoin, but without that break of this pattern, it's going to stay weaker, bigger picture. XMR USDT, keeping this weekly consolidation healthy. We broke 116.55 and saw zero follow through. So we zoom out the weekly time frame, holding EMA 12, keeping fairly strong overall, as long as that is the case. And the question is, can the bulls change the daily trend? Anything under 128.30 is just a lower high. And we have to confirm the daily trend change to be looking at the attempt of weekly continuation. When the daily trend change goes back to the bulls, 
you shift from weekly consolidation mode into attempted weekly continuation mode. So certainly keeping an eye on the altcoins into the end of the year. Aggressive bulls having some fun, patient bulls still watching those daily timeframes. And we'll see if this Bitcoin, curious to see if the S&P 500 is the reason for that five minute drop right now. Nope. But we'll keep an eye and see if Bitcoin can keep this four hour bull flag alive. Hourly time frame, bull break with no follow through. So we might have to head back down and test that 15,300 level. If that breaks, the 12 period EMA support on the four hour time frame is the next level to be watching. Have a good rest of your day. Do good things. Establish your game plans. Write them down. You can have longer term game plans for certain positions, shorter term game plans for cash. It's fun. Things are fun an hourly tightening range. AP8. Whoa. What you want? APHA is a potential bear flag on the daily time frame. It's a weak bounce. If we break the lows of today on any names that look like bear flags, we are going to be looking to confirm those bear flags with lower lows. Bro. Really messing with my flow.